What is up everybody in YouTube land and welcome to the new and rebranded CNG Appliance Television. I am your host Chris and this segment is called From the Mind of an Appliance Technician. And this goes over basically what's on my mind. Uh, pretty much anything that's been going on in the business, anything that's been going on in, in my neck of the woods. Uh, really whatever uh, whatever's going on uh, in in the trade and it's all going to be related to appliances so with that out of the way I got a couple of announcements before I jump into today's subject number one is that uh, Whirlpool refrigerator that I was talking to you guys about that uh, actually ended up being a 1981 Whirlpool refrigerator there was an overlap in uh, uh, when they used porcelain on steel and plastic interiors, I thought they exclusively changed to plastic interiors after 84. And where that may be true, they actually had some with plastic interiors uh, prior to the 1984. I had thought they were all porcelain on steel, so if I, miss, if I made anybody misunderstand, I apologize for that. Um, number two. We do have a direct drive washing machine that, ends up, that ended up having a chattery motor. Um, I swapped a transmission out thinking that that was it and that's not the case uh, so we're gonna have to rectify that I have a couple of motors sitting around so it shouldn't be a big deal I hope this motor has kind of a unique little connector on it that is specific to this looks like it's wired through the ATC controller um, I wouldn't understand why a motor would be but you know uh, there's always there's always something new that comes around that uh, that I figure out so uh, we're gonna try that and um, you know I'll update you probably on Wednesday uh, as to how that thing is going so with that out of the way today uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about justanswer.com okay now before I go into this I am not affiliated with or sponsored by justanswer.com uh, but I did want to tell you guys that it is a great idea for a side hustle. I mentioned it when I was uh, interviewed with uh, Brother B over on TNM, TMM Appliance. So if you haven't checked his channel out, go ahead and do that, guys, all right? So uh, with all that out of the way, let's talk about Just Answer. Um, how do you do it? Okay, first, of the, first thing is you go to JustAnswer.com. There is a link that says become an expert. You go ahead and click on that bad boy. And after that, you're going to be run through a gauntlet of information. You're filling out all kinds of information. And uh, they will actually, they don't really interview you. They kind of do. But they run you through an orientation after you've filled everything out. It'll be a couple of days. It took me, I think, about a week total uh, to get completely vetted by them. Now, they will call your place of employment. So just bear that in mind, all right? Um, they will call your place of employment. Just let them know beforehand, like what I did is I went to my boss and I said, hey, you know, I'm, you know, this company just answer is going to call you guys. They're going to ask about my employment. Don't worry, I'm not quitting my job. None of that's happening. Uh, it's just a side hustle. And they go, okay, that's cool. So the way the pay model works is you are paid based on how much information you put out there. And the questions you answer in a week's time frame and I can't remember if it is every Friday or every Sunday but every week they your questions and answers go through a review board that's independent of just answer and they determine what tier you are now generally they leave you on a silver tier at least in my experience that's what they've been doing um, I don't remember exactly what's involved now there's bronze silver uh, gold and platinum tiers the only big difference between the tiers is from bronze to uh, silver, and it's I think five bucks to eight dollars a question, and it's what uh, eight dollars every time you hit the answer button. Okay, there's an info request and there's an answer button, and it's every time you hit that answer button, it is it roughly averages out to be about eight dollars a question is what it averages out to be. The old pay model used to be. Uh, customer acceptance it used to be based on customer acceptance so like if somebody was happy with the information that you gave them they could click a button called accept which this which still exists um it just doesn't have the same effect on you that it does and you're actually the way it works out is you get paid 
for every question. Like the the old the old um, pay model didn't leave room for customers who just get the information and they never click accept. So this pay model kind of does. Um, it's it it works out to be better. You get less per question, but it works out to be better. I think now on the old pay model. My record for hitting it every night after, now I get off at five every day and I hit just answer every single night and I answered what questions I could, averaged out to be I think of three or four questions a night that I was answering, maybe five. Uh, now if you get if you do a phone call, uh, you will receive more. You, if you do a phone call, you complete the fulfillment request on a phone call um, and they'll run you through all that when you when you sign up. Um, but uh, you complete the fulfillment request on a phone call and you you get an extra twelve dollars plus the accept the, the answer is automatically accepted so you get eight dollars plus twelve dollars for that question if you complete the fulfillment request and basically you know you just say okay after a pleasant conversation help the customer resolve his or his or her issue so doing that and you know phone calls a smattering of phone calls here and there um, I made uh, $300 in one month, and that's just side hustle on top of uh, what I was doing uh, on, on top of my hustle as well as on top of uh, my actual job. So it it's a really great idea. It's a great side hustle. Uh, guys, it works. If you're thinking about it, go ahead and do it, okay? Um, it, is, it is a great, great thing. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to that on on Just Answer. Um, as far as how today went, uh, it went pretty good. Uh, I had a uh, couple of parts I put on. Let's see, I did a drain pump uh, on a Speed Queen commercial machine. That seemed to work out fine. Um, I, uh, I had an interesting one uh, this afternoon. It was a range that was testing 60 volts at one leg. Uh, electrician came back and said everything was fine so I'm gonna have to go recheck that thing out tomorrow might have been a bad cord I kind of forgot to to ohm the cord out because uh, it didn't look bad and usually it's kind of obvious when cords go bad um, you know if you've got a connection right at the junction block or something like that um, usually it'll burn if it's bad but uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happened. It could be something that was hiding from me. It could be something that's hiding from the electrician. So uh, we'll we'll see uh, probably tomorrow, uh, which would be Tuesday, um, and we'll see about that. Uh, what goes on there? Um, rest of the stuff was pretty cut and dry. I mean, nothing nothing terribly off the wall or crazy. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it, and I think I'm, we're gonna end this episode right there, guys. Guys, I want to reiterate, I really, really appreciate you guys turning tuning in for this. Uh, it is, you guys could be anywhere on YouTube right now, but you're here with me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I will hit you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time.